Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Judy here and I wanted to just jump on here and show you a project that I just finished for a collaboration that I am uh, involved in with eight other wonderful talented artists. Um, the group that I am in on Facebook is called Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists and that's where the collab is going on. And so I'm showing what I have done and I'm going to link below the other artists so that you can watch their videos and see what they have come up for their collaboration portion. And um, there were a few different items you could uh, choose from and or incorporate all of them into your project. Just make something small like a tag or, or something along those lines. And so... What I did is I did a 12 by 12 uh, piece of mixed media. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say a board because it's not as thick as a board, but it's a mixed media um, uh, type of paper. And what I did is I decided to do a collage and incorporate all of my gel prints that I had received from P&M Artist Studios. Um, which are the same, AKA of makers of mixed media art and artists on Facebook. Um, and I did, I incorporated all of those. I did use texture paste, which was, uh, which was another requirement, um, possibility. I should say not a requirement, possibility, um, color sprays, which I didn't use because I'm like just messy as all get out with those. Um, more so than any other mixed media type product. So I kind of stayed away from those uh, yuck scrapbook paper I did not use. And then foliage found, I did use that. So, and then stencils as well. So let me go ahead and tell you about it. So I did the collage first. And then I decided I'm going to use it for tags, for journals and such. And so... I kind of visually looked to see what I might see in the picture that I collaged. So to me, I wanted to use this portion and this portion um, for a tag and a pocket. And the remainder of it, I'm going to um, do tags as well. I just didn't do all of them um, just yet. Just these for the collab. And um, the reason I chose to cut it where I did um, is because this reminds me of a, if I can get it up here, a little painter dude or just kind of like an artist himself, like a little artist hat there, um, standing like in front of a table and such. But a lot of this is um, the papers from P&M. And then I also used um, Texture Paste uh, by Ranger. And that I did with this portion. Um, and then I used um, Golden Molding, or excuse me, yeah, Molding Paste uh, for, which one do? For this right here I did. And then for here, and then I also used some impasto acrylic gel medium, and that was on the specific face right here um, that I had actually tore apart. I did some stenciling of some faces, and that's where um, this comes into play, and that comes into play. So those two faces. And then this is another part of the face. Um, let's see here. This is stencils uh, from PM Artist Studio. Um, it's their gear one, and then this one of theirs is Stompy Rocks. So that was my stencils. So I've got my stencils, texture paste, gel prints. Um, my foliage found is, I found it in my craft room in a bag. It's moss. <laughs> and um, I have it throughout the whole thing here and there and different spots so as you can see 
Um, these are some really fabulous um, pieces that I took off that were um, gel printed or whatnot that I got from PM Artist Studio when I purchased some stencils from them. Um, you know, I guess maybe I could say I used some sprays. I don't know. They may have used sprays on some of their, their papers they sent me. So maybe I technically, you know, used some sprays as well. So um, then on these, what I did is I sewed to the back of this uh, portion a texture plate that I did. And this is actually a light and fluffy modeling paste. And um, I don't have any more of it, but P&M swear by it, and it is really, really nice. Um, I get great loft with it and such. Um, so, and then I did some inks on it, and then I just sewed it to this portion here. Um, I did some distressing as well. Um, these are some semi-precious uh, stones that I hung on there, and... Let's see what else. Oh, this is some um, uh, projector paper. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, now no, I can't even think of it. It's kind of like an acetate in a way. But anyway, underneath it is some colored wax, uh, dyed wax paper that actually Le uh, Lisa at Sirius Hecka uh, makes. So that was on something that I had. Um, like I said, a lot of these are all P&M. Um, stenciled um, beautiful gel prints. And then I did some stamping right there. And then I took um, some baked velvet lime by Seth Apter. And I took and I put embossing um, the, like the liquid they have a brush on embossing liquid. And then I used his powder and um, heat dried it with my heat gun. I like, I wanted to kind of crystallize it and just make, make sure everything stayed on there and didn't ever come off. <laughs> and, uh, it also gives it a nice shine too and makes the color, it's still bright and it makes it pop because it gives it like a, a little bit of a shiny sheen. Um, whereas this is like, this is, you know, shiny and, and pretty too as well to a certain degree. Um, but it's more kind of like in your face where this kind of like pops as well, but not so much as that. So, uh, I guess it's just a different way of looking at how things pop. <laughs> um, and then I did some distress oxides around it as well. Um, let's see, what else did I do? I think that's all I did. And so anyway... This is the pocket portion, and then this is the tag, and you can write on the back of it. It's my little guy named Jack right there. Anyway, so I can stick it in there, and then I have a nice little pocket with a really cute tag in it, and there's room to stuff some more, so maybe I can just take maybe these other, some of these other pieces, and I'll just make it a mixed media stuffed pocket. I th in fact, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do with it. But anyway, I do appreciate everybody watching. I'm linking below um, everybody's channels so that you can go and see what they have done. They are fabulous artists, and I can't wait to see what they've done myself. And uh, it's just been a lot of fun. So thank you, Mariah, um, from Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists, for putting this together. And... I can't wait for the next challenge because they are a lot of fun. Um, if you're new, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. I would certainly appreciate it and would love to have you here when I'm on the next time. And uh, look for me soon. I'll be doing a, um, a tutorial soon with um, my marbling paint um, on a jelly plate. So stay tuned for that, you guys. Happy crafting. Thanks so much for joining me. See ya. Bye.